Hello YouTubers and welcome to Destination Lego and welcome to what for me is a very special video and it is a overview of set 10182 Cafe Corner and as you can see this is indeed a modular building and this is the first modular building that was created by Lego as per their modular range. Uh, this was released in 2007, uh, has 2056 pieces um, and I guess the most interesting fact certainly at this uh, time in 2015 is the retail price here in the UK when this was originally re was released was £88. That's just £88. Now here in July 2015 if you were to look to buy a sealed set um, of this particular modular building you'd be looking to pay I would say 20 times that value yes you heard it right 20 times um, the original recommended retail price you can pick up uh, U-sets um, for a lot cheaper than that but still they go into their hundreds of pounds um, for a used modular um, cafe corner set. Um, so anyway guys without any further ado let's get on with this overview and I will take you round the awesome cafe corner. Okay so first up I am simply going to give this a bit of a 360 um, spin around so that you can get to see this from all sides. Okay, so obviously we get the, um, we call it the front shot, but as you can see, this is on the corner, um, hence Cafe Corner. Um, it is a corner um, hotel and cafe establishment. So if we just spin it around so that you get to see from that side, um, you can obviously see set there down below the cafe at the bottom, then moving up into the hotel on the first and second floors. If I move around to the other side, um, again obviously exactly the same as per the three levels. Go around to the side of the building, quite bland, um, but you wouldn't really see this in the modular um, with the buildings put together. Um, you can see down here the Technic bricks where you can um, fix it to the other modulars um, and again on this side we have the same on this one we have the Technic pins in place if you can see those from that angle um, down there ready to fix into place uh, with the other modular buildings um, the thing that I find one of the features I think is awesome on this is the actual hotel sign uh, I think Lego did a great job in designing that back in 2007. There's some other great features on here. Um, we've got this combination here over the door and obviously the little cup to represent that it is a cafe. Um, outside we have some little uh, tables here where you can enjoy your coffee um, and croissants out in the sun. Um, obviously in the mornings uh, if we just move some of these minifigures and accessories away actually take those off there we have a bench out here next to the iconic street lamp um, which tends to be a theme with the modular buildings um, obviously the sidewalk or pathway um, goes around each building um, while the light there is falling off we just noticed let's just put that back into Place. We have our little lamps outside the front of the shop there. Um, the door, which does open. Hopefully you can see that there, now open. Um, and again, closed. And moving back around to this side of the building, we, there, there is another door here. Um, and this is the access to get upstairs to what will be the apartments or flats. Um, or in this case hotel rooms um, in the actual hotel itself so there's a hotel sign there's the door and you can probably just about make out the stairs in there 
which will lead you up to the first and second floors. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do, because again it is a modular building and this is layered, um, I'm just going to take off uh, each one of these layers, so obviously starting with the top. And these do simply just lift off, like so. Um, and if I put that down to one side there, uh, you get to see there the, uh, what is in this case, the second floor. Just push that over there to one side, bring that over to there, and we will take off the next floor, which is obviously the first floor. So we just reach across, simply lift that off. So there we get to see each floor separated out, and indeed if we move over here, the top um, actually comes off as well, so we can get access into um, the top floor there um, as well. Um, obviously the purpose of that is so that you can see each one of these layers separated. Now one of the things that you can do um, is make more of these floors so that you can make your cafe corner and hotel obviously higher, um, sky's your limit to a certain degree, but you could put on another easily one or two floors on that to obviously expand the space um, within the hotel. Okay, so just looking a closer look at that ground floor now, with obviously the other floors now removed. What I would now do is just take the camera off the tripod, so again apologies in advance for any camera shake, just so you can get a look inside um, to each one of these levels, so let's do that now. Okay, so here we go, so just moving into the cafe corner, what I'll do is just take a closer view, and just spin that round so you get to see the different areas and indeed the hotel sign so looking inside da, <laughs> it is very bland so one thing about the earlier modular sets and certainly for this first one um, as you can see there was no thought with regards to the inside which is a far cry from um, the modular sets that we um, get now, the likes of um, the detective agency where there's masses of detail um, actually within uh, the modular buildings itself. But you can see, you know, there really isn't anything um, inside these. You can see there the windows and there's the door there, which I'm just opening up, uh, which takes us obviously up those stairs um, to get up to the next floor um, and there you can see outside uh, looking at those tables just on that point just to point out for those that aren't aware um, if you actually look down there if you can make it out the tiles so the tiled area there does actually say cafe you have a C here um, there is an A there uh, we have the F and you can make out the E there um, so just a little um, fact there which you might not have been aware of. So next up we will get that level um, on top and have a look inside that one. And there we go with the first floor now in place. Again just take a look around the outside. And spinning back round to the other side there. Um, and indeed round the back is blank okay so now we're just going to move up over and inside so the only real feature here is the stairway coming up and we have the little railings or banister area down there and again you can see the steps coming up there spin around that will obviously be the step going up to the final level. Um, just looking again now from the inside out. As you can see again, there is no detailing inside 
whatsoever and it is just an empty space um, but certainly where you can let your imagination um, come into play um, and obviously this being up here being the hotel you could put some sort of beds in there etc if you wished to do so um, but very very um, basic um, interior but absolutely the exterior in my opinion is fantastic so let's get the final level on top okay so now with that final level on top so starting from here and we will you can see there there is beginning to be some detailing at the tops now we have these little um, frogs frog pieces up of the windows um, and if we go up to the tower at the very top uh, we have these birds on each one and there you go, you're spinning that round so you get to see every single one of those has one of those in but some good detailing um, good feature um, in my opinion very ornate um, if we move back down here and just spin around get to see that level and some of the detailing just moving across there um, you can see at the top again some railings move back around to that side um, pretty much identical to the other side some of those details um, and again that area of detail in there so moving up to the top um, of the building itself you can see there there are two chimney stacks we'll see one over there and another there aside from that we have the railings um, but then nothing else on top um, what you would have already seen uh, when I removed it this just does simply lift off very easily like so um, but again no surprises the interior is um, very empty, no detail. And again, all we have obviously is the stairs coming up um, from the level below. Again, just looking from the inside out through those windows, um, you get to see okay, so there we go. Okay guys, so that is pretty much it for the building. I will just show you the minifigures in a second. Just wanted to show you that sign again. So there is the hotel sign. There. And just looking back out to the top. So let's take a look at the minifigures. So there we go, there are three minifigures, as we can see here, that come with this set. We have a male minifigure there, and he's holding his uh, brush or broom. You see some of that detailing there to the front of his torso. Moving down to the next minifigure. some of that printing detail in there to so the front of that torso and our final minifigure um, obviously the female there um, no printing um, very basic um, face printing as you can see they're all the same actually um, obviously hair pieces are different okay so let's just take a look at the rear of these minifigures and there we go and as you can see very very basic let's just move in and have a quick look Moving down. Okay, so that is it for the minifigures. Okay, so next up, let's look at the remaining other accessories that we haven't seen yet. Okay, first up, we have this rather cool looking um, older style bicycle, um, which we get to see there. Uh, if we just spin this around, there you get to see the front. Again, around to that side. Um, very cool little rubber tyres, um, and obviously the clear translucent wheels. Uh, but that is the bicycle. Next up, we have a dustbin. Um, obviously, just a very basic 
dustbin um, with the lid there, the lid does come off. Um, inside um, we have some grapes that we put in the dustbin. Okay, they're just a couple of uh, spare grapes there which we have put into the dustbin. Okay, so that's it for the main separate accessories. There are just a couple of others which I'm just going to show you now back on the building itself. Okay, so they are quite simply, if we go into the table area, um, you can see there there is a uh, red mug and a translucent wine glass. And if we have a look over on the other table, um, we can see there there is a... Um, what I would call a beer glass um, sat on that table um, there and the only other things on the outside which I've already shown you but then just more of a close up we have the bench um, and obviously the street lamp um, there in position Okay, so there we go. That is my overview, stroke review of the Cafe Corner completed. Um, so my opinion on this, well, it is actually my personal favourite modular set, which you might be surprised with, but I absolutely love the design, um, the exterior design of this set. I think it looks absolutely awesome. Um, let me know what you think, guys, down in the comments um, to this video. Um, obviously by way of interior, yeah that is disappointing but this was obviously Lego's first attempt um, as per the um, modular series. This was actually in, in, in fact designed by a, um, not a Lego employee, um, this was designed by someone just like you and I. Um, and then taken into production and obviously Lego decided to build the modular series. Um, which is obviously very, very successful, um, particularly when it comes to A-folds. Um, I'm not too bothered about the interior um, because this will be going um, on display um, with the other modular buildings which I have built to date. And the great thing for me, this does complete the set for me. I have every modular building um, from 2007 onwards, obviously up until the detective agency at the time of recording this video and I will continue to collect these as and when they are released. So I'm just going to put this up on my shelf now um, with the other ones which I've got built so far, which isn't very many of them considering I've got them all. Um, and then I will show you what that looks like. Okay, so there we go. Now you get to see the cafe corner up on my shelf with the others. And you can see I haven't got that many built. Uh, so we have the cafe corner, Market Street, the Green Grocer, and the Fire Brigade. Um, so these are in date order of release. Um, so far, but I need to obviously get the other modules built. That there is the Lego Simpsons house. And just to give you a shot like that. Anyway, guys, hopefully, you did enjoy this video. If you did, please do go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Hit that like button for me. Any comments, questions, or feedback, leave down in the comments section like I said let me know what you think of this set this one is my favorite but let me know what you guys um, think down in the comments to this video and finally if you haven't subscribed to this channel already please do so um, show me your support um, and down in the description you would also see links to my other social media and indeed my other channel which is destination vlogs um, which is um, the kind of the hint is in the name, vlogs. <laughs> it is a vlog channel um, where I share other things um, other than Lego, but there is still Lego on that channel. So please go ahead and support me on that channel and subscribe to that channel too. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheers! Bye for now, everyone. Bye.